What's up everyone? It's Anthony and welcome to the AB Fitness Center show where we help you to look better, feel better, lose body fat and get stronger. Today we're going to talk about a really my this is one of my favorite things. We're going to talk about my five favorite foods for fat loss. Again, these foods are going to differ depending on, you know, what you like and what you don't like, but these are just my personal favorite five foods that I go to all the time whether I'm really trying to gain weight lose weight, whatever it is. These are my five go-to foods for success. So that's probably what the title should be. But um, if you're listening to this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So this way you're always get notified. And I want you to head on over to abfitnesscenter.com, abfitnesstrainer.com slash free, and you'll get a free gift from me. So let's get rolling into this. So the, my top five favorite foods for fat loss, or results, I probably should name it something like that. Um, number one, the chicken or the egg, right? So I'm categorizing them into both. Um, chicken, obviously, is a staple when it comes to actually getting results. Uh, chicken breast itself is just so versatile. Um, you could marinate it in so many different things. You could make it so many different ways, and I'll talk about that in a second. But I also including egg whites into that category too. Um, the, it's the same thing, you know, eggs, egg whites, chicken, it's all, it's all from the same thing. So either way it works. Like I said, chicken's very, very versatile. Um, chicken breast, again, really, really quick, easy, low fat way to get protein. In. Most people don't eat enough protein, so it's important to actually get that protein in. And chicken breast is one of the best ways to do that lean wise without getting in too much fat. Obviously, if you're eating chicken thighs, it's going to contain a lot more fat and therefore raise up the amount of calories that you're eating. So chicken breast, like I said, it's very, very versatile. You can marinate it in a lot of different things. You can marinate it in balsamic, fat-free Italian, which I love to do. Um, you can marinate it in hot sauce, soy sauce, teriyaki sauce. You can even bread it. You know, you could make it like chicken cutlets. You could, you know, dip it in a little bit of egg whites or eggs, um, coat it with some breadcrumbs or whatever you want to coat it with, put it in the oven for a couple minutes, and then boom, you've got some, you know, healthy cutlets. So you could do that. And on its other half, the egg whites, Egg whites are so versatile. There's no fat in egg whites. You can have a ton of egg whites. I mean, to get 30 grams of protein from egg whites, you need 10 eggs. That's a lot. So it's, I like egg whites because they're very, very voluminous. They take up a lot of room in your stomach. And again, you could make them however you want them. If you want to make them into like pancakes, you can mix a little bit of oatmeal in there. You could do that too. If you want something a little sweet, you could sprinkle some blueberries in your egg whites. Don't knock it till you try it. Um, you could put a lot of things. You can make a huge egg white omelet. Think about it. If you need 30 grams of protein and you use 10 egg whites, you, that's a huge omelet. So that's why that's my number one go-to food right there. Uh, chicken, egg whites, same thing. They come from the same place. So that's, that's why it's number one. So that's why it's not categorized into two. Chicken, egg whites. Um, a whole egg is okay too. I shouldn't say whole eggs are not good. Uh, remember, they're just higher in calorie. And especially for this, these are my top five favorite foods for fat loss. So we're looking for more lower calorie options there. So that's what I'm recommending for number one, chicken slash egg whites. Number two, we're going to go with fat-free Greek yogurt. I love fat-free Greek yogurt. Again, for one of the reasons why I like it so much is one, it's very versatile. And two, it takes up a lot of room in your stomach. So when you're, when you're trying to lose some body fat, you know, the main thing is avoiding hunger because then when you start feeling hungry, you're going to go to the cabinet, you're going to start raiding the cabinet. So Greek yogurt is a really, really good because a serving or two servings of Greek yogurt will literally fill an entire bowl and takes a while for you to eat. So I like Greek yogurt. I think it's a really, really good option. Again, you have to make sure it's fat free because you want to avoid those extra calories there. So again, Greek yogurt is one of those things too. You can also add a lot of things into it. So you can add like different types of oatmeals into it or cereals, and it'll really take up a lot in a bowl. And you could sit there and eat it in front of the TV and just pretend it's potato chips. It works every time. All right, number three, my third favorite food, cereal. I love cereal. I'm a, I guess I'm a kid at heart. Cereal, and it's funny because I have my degree in nutrition. And when I went to school, they actually taught us that Cereal is one of the healthiest things that you can ever eat because it's basically a multivitamin with carbohydrates. So cereals are fortified with every vitamin and mineral you need. So if you're having cereal, you're usually not deficient in anything. But I like cereal for a lot of different reasons. Again, if you mix cereal in with Greek yogurt, 
Uh, it's gonna fill up an entire bowl and again, be just a nice size meal for you. But the reason why I also like cereal too is because you could use cereal as a snack. So let's say that you're, you know, whatever, again, going with what I said before with the TV, if you like to sit down in front of the TV and eat something, if you pour um, some cereal in a bowl or in a bag or whatever and measure out how, exactly how much you need, you can sit there and just have the cereal dry and eat it. And it's a good way to actually pretend you're snacking. So I like cereal for that reason a lot and I use that a lot. So sometimes, um, and again, most cereals are very, very low in fat or even no fat. So like something like Frosted Flakes has like no fat in it. Uh, so you could sit there in front and eat it and you'll be fine and help you hit, you know, it's a lower calorie option. The main thing is you got to measure all these things out because even if you just eat all these five foods that I'm talking about today and you just go hog wild and eat everything, it kind of defeats the purpose. But like I said, cereals are mostly very low in fat and they get a lot of vitamins and minerals there. So it's a really, really good food, especially when you're trying to diet down. Plus it's like a really, like I said, a good snack. It tastes different than what you normally would. Uh, like for example, so before my workout, I literally had two scoops of protein powder. I, I shake it up and I had it over fruity pebbles. That was what I had before I worked out. And it's a good source of carbohydrates, good source of protein, very low in fat meal. So again, that's why I like cereal because it's very versatile. You can mix it in things or you can have it by itself. Sometimes I like, um, what's it? the kids eat it all the time, uh, cocoa, cocoa puffs. I don't know, it's like little round chocolate ones. And I'll put them in a bag and then I'll just kind of eat that as a snack. And it, it helps. It takes a while to eat it and I actually feel like you're snacking on something. So that's another one. So my number four food is powdered peanut butter. For those of you who are peanut butter fans, powdered peanut butter is the way to go. I never used to like it. I used to think it was a waste to just put in your shake because you could just take the powder and put it in your shake and it tastes a little bit like peanut butter. But powdered peanut butter, I like it because you can actually make it like real peanut butter. I only did this recently, so this is why it actually made my list. But you, if you take the powdered peanut butter, put it in a bowl, add a little bit of water to it and just keep mixing it, it will become like peanut butter. And it tastes just like peanut butter. So. If you're a peanut butter person and you like to have peanut butter, you can mix up a couple servings in there with water and mix it up and then just enjoy it and eat it just like, the, you know, if you want to eat it with a spoon, that's fine too. Or you want to put it on something. It's actually really good that way. I don't really recommend putting it in my shake because it doesn't have the same taste, but actually sitting there and mixing it in a bowl goes a long, long, long way. So if you haven't tried that yet, you can pick up powdered peanut butter anywhere. Any store has it under so many different names. Uh, they even have like a chocolate peanut butter version too. I, I haven't had that yet, so I can't comment on it. But again, it's one of my favorite. That's why I made my top four. It never did, but it recently creeped up there. And my number five, again, something that has made my life so much easier. Some people don't agree with it. Some people do. But for me, one of my favorite sources of food is protein powder. In order for me to get the amount of protein I need to put muscle on, to burn body fat, to lose inches, to get in better shape, to get stronger, I need a significant amount of protein. And protein powder just helps me to hit that number conveniently. Every, I've talked about this you know, so many times, but every, every morning, my job is taking care of the kids. So I can't worry about yourself. And when you're a parent, that's how, that's how it happens. But what I do is I literally mix up two scoops of protein the night before, I keep it by my bedside, I wake up in the morning, I down the shake, and then breakfast is done. But without protein powder, it will be impossible for me to get that 50 grams of protein I need as soon as I wake up. Again, and it's also convenient throughout the day too. So if you're someone who's on the run or you have trouble preparing your meals, you know, things like that, protein powder is one of the most convenient ways of getting your protein in. So I highly, highly, highly recommend picking up a good whey protein powder, something like AB Fitness Whey. You can pick up at AB Fitness Center. Um, but regardless, protein powder is my number five probably should really be my number one because I use it a lot, but whatever, neither here nor there, that's my five favorite foods. So I'll recap them all for you again. Number one, chicken and egg whites. It comes from the same thing, so that's why they count as one. <laughs> number two, non-fat Greek yogurt. Again, non-fat, because if it's full fat, it's gonna have a lot more calories. Number three, your choice of cereals. And again, I should have covered, uh, covered this one. Cereals are really good, old, good, food period, but a lot of people say, oh, but there's so much sugar in Fruity Pebbles. How are you eating Fruity Pebbles? It's about the same amount of sugar as in an apple, because in a serving of Fruity Pebbles is like 25 to 30 grams of carbohydrates, which is similar to an apple or a banana. So 
Don't always look at sugar, look at the amount of calories, look at the amount of carbohydrates, and always look at the total amount of carbohydrates in something, not just one piece out of it, okay? Number four, powdered peanut butter. Again, you could make it like real peanut butter and it actually tastes pretty good and you won't even miss peanut butter after that and it's a good calorie saving tool. And number five, protein powder. So again, I hope this video has helped you guys. If it has, hit that subscribe button and comment below and let me know what your five favorite foods are and if you agree with any one of the ones on my list. All right, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.